Just as we learn how to mark our appointments as private, as you recall in that training video, when you're sharing your calendar or giving access to somebody else who's connected to the same Microsoft Exchange server as you are, so they can go ahead and see what times you got blocked out, but when they view it, they can see the subject, the details, they can double click to open it up. When you mark it as private, the subject will be titled private meeting and only show them the block time. And they won't be able to double click to open up and read the details of the meeting and like if you had any notes. So to go ahead and mark it private, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either go ahead and select. Now this one's in a series, as you recall. When we schedule this meeting, it's a reoccurring meeting. So it starts on October the 5th, and then it goes to the 12th, 19th, 26th, a total of four. So with it selected, you can come up here to its related contextual meeting series. So it's a reoccurring meeting. It's a series of them. Go to the tags group and select private and then it updates all of them. Or you can go ahead and deselect it here, double click on that and say the entire series. Now you can't pick one and mark that as private because in a series it won't let you do that. You won't get the option to go ahead and choose private. So let's do the entire series, click OK, and then of course come over here to the tags group and there it is, private. Select it, go ahead and click save and then close out and it's all private. And in this view it's not going to show that little lock there that it's private. So if you want to go ahead and change the views, like go to the home tab and let's do the let's do the week view. And there it is. Let's see the twelfth, but it's after hours, so scroll down and there's the lock and there's the arrows turning in on themselves to show you it's a reoccurring meeting. And this lock will also show up in the day view. You can double click on it here and open up the series and click OK. And then go ahead and deselect it and then save it, close out and the lock's been removed, it's no longer private. Now that's the only indicator that you're gonna get on your end if you're in the other views that your meeting has been marked as private. If you're in the month view, the only way that you're gonna find out is that if you select it and look up here on its related contextual meeting series tab to see if that's been highlighted. So if I go back to the view, well you can go on the view tab to go to the month or click on the home tab to go to the month view and you can see if it's selected that up here on the related contextual meeting series tab that is highlighted private so everything in that series the reoccurring meeting is private you'll be able to see everything on your end but when they log in to look at your calendar they'll just see private meeting and the block time thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video